yes I have to go to the emissions they're gonna rate me for fourteen dollars isn't this nice fourteen dollars they rip you off for they won't even put a sensor in the tailpipe they will sign the paper and let me go fourteen dollars mm, mm, mm. I'd prefer they send me a bill instead of having to come over here and do this it's a scam man it's a racket on US Route 40 in Maryland upper Maryland this road is uh, kind of like Route 66 I have to put 95 in a lot of the business here a lot of the business is closed down it's a shame they make it so you can barely find this damn place look at the big sign Big sign. Mm -hmm. We'll see if they let me uh, film this. Oh, isn't that pretty? Maryland state flag and the MVA flag. As if it needs a flag. Mm, Beat old Falcon. Okay, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I wish uh, I could have filmed the whole thing, but it passed. They didn't put a sniffer in it. All I had to do was get out. He got in. He started it up. He hooked a wire to the uh, he hooked a wire under there somewhere, I guess, to get codes, and it passed. No way in the world this piece of crap could pass. <laughs> It's all about money, boys. It's bullshit. Just remember that. You see how long it took. There's the start. There's the ending time. Okay? That's how long it took. <laughs> One more thing that bugs me about the uh, emissions. In the state of Maryland, if you live on the eastern shore, which is on the other side of the Chesapeake Bay, there are no emissions. Your vehicle does not have to go through emissions. Period. Only on this side of the Chesapeake Bay. Now why is that? Can anyone tell me? Hmm. truck I saw up here the other day. I'm going to see if somebody's home. I'm going to knock on their door and see if it's for sale. I went by it so fast I wasn't able to see exactly what it was, but it looked like a 36, 37 Chevrolet. I'm not quite sure. It's along this road somewhere. Let me get a little further. There it is. There it is. I'm not quite sure I want to get run over by a car. Oh no. Oh yes, it is. It is. I want that. I knocked and knocked and nobody answered, so I'll come back here after uh rush hour. We'll see if somebody comes home from work or something. Let's see if I can get that truck. It's a, it looks like a 36, 37 Chevrolet. It's right up my alley. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What I couldn't do with that thing. Alright, time to go get some off-road fuel for my heater. And uh, I'll lay up a couple parts that I uh, brushed with gel coat. I guess that'll make you happy, huh? Pretty place. I guess you can't
can't hear me, my window's down. All this property here was Benjamin Franklin's farm. Like you really give a damn. Alright, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to lay this stuff up. I'll put it in fast forward. You won't have to hear me uh, babbling. And uh, in the words of my father, may he rest in peace. A little less talk and a little more work. Get your ass to work, boy. Boy's getting to work. Ready? Begin.
All right. Looks like we're done. Two and a half hours worth. Notice how the uh, color changes. That's cured, or almost cured. And that's not. That's about halfway. It has a few spots in it that aren't. The darker spots are not cured. My battery died on me there. So there's what we have. Maybe tomorrow or the next day. I might throw another layer on that. That's going to be a mold. So, until uh, next time, fellas. I have to paint that. And it's after dark. I'm hungry. See you later, man. Take it easy.